All right, well, I made a video for the Breakfast Club. I'll leave a link to that in the description bar. And it's just like, well, since I'm at it, there's something else I was thinking about. So let's just, even though I, that's, this isn't where I really wanted to go, um, I, uh, anyway. Advice for the left. Okay. Now, as the right may tend to use a lot of bullying tactics and they may try to make you feel bad about yourself. They may try to use shaming tactics and such. They may do a lot of fucked up things. That doesn't mean that you should do the same thing. Okay. If you expect others to take your feelings into consideration, then you need to do the same for them. And if you don't know how to do that because you don't actually understand their position, then maybe you should understand their position first. You know, the same kind of things that you ask of them, right? If your viewpoint, if your viewpoint of what they're, they're saying is just, oh, that's bigoted. And you just have this word or this phrase associated with one of their positions. You don't have any thoughts about it. You don't have any uh, any way to break apart what they've said. No, in your mind, if in your mind they you just oh well that's racist. Okay, it may very well be racist, and you know what? It probably is racist. But if you leave it there and you don't go into the whys and the hows and you just tell the person, oh, that's racist, and you expect that to, to like change anything, it's not going to change anything. Now, I mean, you can be honest and just, well, you know, that makes me uncomfortable. Um... I view that as racist, and that makes me uncomfortable. I don't really want to talk about this. Okay, that's fine. You know, you may not like the fact that they just wanted to sh they don't want to talk about it, but they're being honest that they would like to stop the conversation. Okay, to me, that's respectable if they do something like that, right? That's respectable. Maybe you don't think so. I mean, you can find it pathetic or, or whatever, but at least they would be being honest at that point, right? So... You know, and, and, I, and I've said that sort of thing before. I've said, yeah, that kind of makes me uncomfortable. I, I, I uh, at least right now, I don't think I, I want to talk about that right now. I've said it, <laughs> you know? I, if something's going to make me that uncomfortable, then if I try to talk about it, I'm going to be irrational about it. Um, just like I've kind of been uh, since the, the Trump thing. I've just so emotionally charged over the shit so but if there are words this is again for the left if there are some words that you know that trigger people uh, why go out of your way to use them if you know certain words are taken a certain way you know that's how they're going to be interpreted it doesn't matter if the word really means something else. If you know the way that it's going to be interpreted as a certain thing, then don't continue to use it and then make fun of them for not knowing the, you know, the, the, the right definition of whatever it is. Okay, if you know that they're going to interpret it a certain way, then, and it's not actually representative of what you're trying to say, then don't word it that way. That's stupid. That's purposely going out of your way to miscommunicate something and then make fun of them when when they don't get it the the right way. You know, it's stuffy. It's 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 being uh, what is the, what is the the phrase for it? An intellectual snob is what that's doing. Stop it. Just don't do it. Now there are Republicans that do this too. Obviously, they're usually the ones that are so so well studied in. Uh, 
the period between, I don't know, 1750 and 1895. They just, they just, they, they know everything about the history. They just know it all. And if you try to mention anything about a generalized thing that's happened in the past, they will go out of their way to, uh, to teach you the proper, that, you know, this is exactly what happened at these dates. These people were involved. Um, these sorts of things were common at the time. I mean, they can give you every little detail about the stuff, and uh, yeah, they'll have you on that. But how does it feel when they do that to you? So don't do that to others. If you know the right phrase, the, the, the correct, uh, uh, well-educated uh, phrases to use for those things, you know, that's, that's, that's fine and dandy. But if you already know that people don't interpret those things the right way, find a different way to word it. If you want to communicate, do what you need to do to communicate. And especially if you know something is purely an insult, Deep down, you know that what you're saying is an insult. And it can be especially told if they can see your face when you're doing it. Um, yeah. Don't try to pass that off as some uh, honest debate. Don't try to pass that. I mean... <clears throat> There are those words that I've that I've talked about, like privilege, certain ways that that can be used, and uh, patriarchy, <clears throat> where people will, will see the patriarchy in just about everything, and then if you, you know, inquire, well, they'll they'll actually think it's kind of in just about everything. Oh, because that's what things are based off of, and of course it'll show up this way. Da 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 da. da right. And I, it's just weird to me how people will people will want others to know to understand their perspective but they refuse to actually look at the other person's perspective in order to know how to word it in a way that's effective no, there's the right way to word it. There's only one right way. It's only da 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 da. Only, only, only. You know that sort of thing that you're pushing. You know it's kind of similar to uh, I've mentioned this before. It's similar to uh, learning music theory, right? There are certain studied ways that music uh, gets taught, and there's a number of people in the past who have come up with with theories of other ways to approach music and all of those things get taught and they're all well not all of them just about all of them are very old and if someone comes up with a new way well it's that way is some people treat it as well that way isn't valid because it hasn't been approved and dot to dot to all these these this this crap right and the way music theory is taught is well look at the all these rules this style has these rules this style has these rules now now think of music according to these rules you know, and it's like, it, it, it can be kind of limiting to some degree, right? I mean, if you're writing sheet music for an orchestra, it, it would be pretty important to know that stuff because it will help make it easier for everyone to play their parts. But, uh, just, just the way that you can write things in... Uh, be able to do things that they expect a little bit so it's not too hard for them as you think about what makes up an orchestra and it's man all those people working together but uh i don't know i, I just think orchestras are there i it's still amazing to me 
to think about all the work that goes into that and and, and just and when they record it in the right room they, these rooms that are designed I, I'm, I, I'm blabbering <laughs> um well it may not be a, a dull blabber but that's not the subject of this video I'll, I'll say that but there are a lot of things that people do on the left that are just that are caustic to those on the right and it would be good to know what those things are and avoid doing them now there are some people who just think oh well if that annoys them let's just do it more and more let's keep doing it <laughs> i mean what's that uh uh oh i can't remember what it's yeah, it's it's not Trigglypuff, but there's this new one, uh, Smugglypuff. That's it. Yes, um, her. <laughs> yeah, there's people like that. Um, I had a conversation with the 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 Prince of Queens. Yes, the Prince of Queens, um, about how there are people who, uh, he, he was saying that there are people who are just kind of, it wasn't worded this way, but it, there are people that are just kind of evil in that way, if, I, if I'm going to use an easy to understand term, like, like a smugly puff, you know, I, I'm sorry, that's, that's evil. If there's ever such a thing as evil, that's it. That kind of attitude. That whole thing. Okay, that, that's just fucking evil. It is. Um, there's, there's really no excuse for that. It's, it's rotten to the core. And, um, and the Prince of Queens was, was telling me that, you know, there are, there are a number of, uh, the extreme side of feminists that are, kind of messing things up in some of the uh, uh, radical fairy circles. Uh, there is a... Uh, uh, I'm not going to say the name of the place in case there's some possibility of slander if they get offended or whatever, but there is a certain uh, fairy gathering. Um, uh, <laughs> I could say it's in Oregon somewhere. <laughs> Um, and it used to be uh, just a gay gathering, but there have been, I guess, a number of, of feminists who have taken it over and are just treating the guys really, really nastily and forcing them to... I mean, it's act, like acting like some of the worst people that we've seen on, uh, on, on this platform, you know, here on YouTube, and... You know, on Tumblr and Twitter and all that stuff, right? Just some of the worst. The most degrading to guys. And, uh... In the way that we were having a conversation, I... I, I was saying initially that... Um... And this is where I think I was wrong. I was saying that... Well, you know, I think most people that are doing this, you know, think that they are uh, doing the right thing or they're trying to do the right thing but some of them are misguided and as that may be true i'm going to have to to uh, give uh, prince of queens some credit there because i i do think especially i mean like that that like uh, smugly puff that was such a good example such a good example and that hadn't happened when we had had this conversation yet um or that would have probably been part of the conversation. Um, but yeah, that's that's just messed up. That is someone who knows exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. And it, 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 that's... Yeah. And if it's that sort of thing that's kind of, of taken over a, a certain uh, fairy gathering, I... Uh, I can't say I would ever want to go to that, ever, <laughs> you know. 
So there are people who kind of, there are people on the left who get bits of that kind of attitude. And I can understand that some people uh, may have interpreted the way that I've gone about things that way. And maybe there were some points where they were that way. I, I know that I've gotten that way a little bit this week. I didn't mean to be, but it happened and I felt it and I knew what, I, I, I could tell something was going on. So... I mean, I, I, I think I'd even said in a, in some comments, oh yeah, I, 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 feel myself kind of becoming radicalized, you know. So, but yeah, the the left has the left has some really foul people, in it. and when the left is in a bullying mood. Either they're not good at it, right, and the, and the insults are lame, you know, and that would be like the majority of them. But then there's these ones that stand out, and they're just foul, foul, in the way that they bully. I mean, foul. Now, I think the bullying thing is messed up, no matter who's doing it. And in the future, expect me to call out when I see either side doing it. Someone's ch I will make I will make response videos saying, "Hey, this is messed up," and I don't care which side is doing it. If it's foul, if it's nasty, I want to call that shit out. So, yeah, those on the left don't pretend that your side doesn't do it the left, my side, as well, I should say, you know, don't let our side, uh, don't pretend that our side doesn't do it. I wonder if there was some sort of secret, in the fact that I, said, I worded it the your side just a little bit ago, I wonder if there's something going on in my head that made me word it that way. I just kind of wonder, was there a reason for that? Anyway, um, I'm not really sure where to go with this. Um, I just know that... Uh, the left, in the ways that some of the left the left and the ways that some of the left yeah that's a that's a real that was a uh, roundabout way of just saying some of the left is what has caused some of so many on the right and so many others on the left that don't like that behavior to react so extremely against it I can see this I mean you know something's wrong when you pass up the best candidate that you've probably ever had, Bernie Sanders. You pass up the best candidate for someone because they're a woman. Oh, well, we need to, we need to continue this diversity thing. You know? I mean, the public perception of Hillary has, has been bad for a long time. And Bernie really wanted to do something good, but you're going to vote for Hillary because, well, you know, Hillary. And we can guilt trip people if they don't vote for her and call them misogynistic and that sort of thing, right? Now, maybe that isn't the direct thing for most people, but I know damn well there are some people out there who have that kind of attitude. You know, our desire for to to do the push the diversity thing, it seems, overrid uh, logic and reason. We can never allow that to happen again. 
And I think this presidency will teach us that very, very well. Let me tell you, let me tell you, if, <laughs> and I don't think she'd do it, but let me tell you, if Hillary tried to run again, it, like, we need to do the, the modern equivalent of, of running her out of a, uh, just run her out of that, uh, of the old town in the old west. Just run her out of the town. No, get the hell out of here with that shit. You fuck this, this up. <laughs> if, if she tries to run again, I hope people say, how dare you? That's what I hope. And that's kind of how I feel about the Democrats when it comes to putting her over Bernie. How dare you? And people will say, oh, well, the, the polling numbers and these numbers and this. You know what? What matters is public perception, not all these fucking statistics. Public perception of Hillary has been that she's crooked. Now, whether she's, you know, ultra crooked or just slightly crooked, you know, that stuff's debatable. But no matter what, the public perceived her as being crooked. Now, if some of the main thing is with Bernie, well, you know, we, we may not be able to push these things through. That's, your, that's the most of your worries. You're not even going to give someone a chance who has views that most of you believed in, but you're going to take the person who the public perceives as corrupt because she says more standard things. Let's play it safe by, by pushing forth a person who the public perceives as corrupt. Yeah, let's never, ever, ever do that again. That would be nice. That would be really, really nice. Let's never, ever, ever do that again. So, yeah, to the left, uh, be reasonable, because being unreasonable is what got us in this mess. You, 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 we, we don't really have anyone to blame but ourselves when it comes to this, fellow uh, left-wingers fellow Democrats, although I don't usually call myself just a Democrat, I call myself a left-winger or a liberal. Um, be reasonable. <laughs>